Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a vlog or Aisha vlog. For today's video guys, I will be doing a tutorial of a very popular freelancing website because uh, many of you are requested for this. today's video guys i will walk you through on how to create your account edit your profile set your skills and on how to send your first ever proposal in freelancer.com so guys i just want to let you know that the website is legit so here's the proof i've been using the website for almost two years now so let's not wait any longer let's start First, go to freelancer.com. Then click on Earn Money Freelancing. And then register a valid email address and pick the password that you want. Then click Agree and join freelancer pick a username that you want to use and then click on next then click on i want to work Afterwards, Freelancer.com will let you pick your skills. Since I am a social media manager, of course, I will pick the skills that I know or that I am knowledgeable of. Guys, remember that if you are a beginner in freelancer.com, you have 8 free bids or 8 free proposal and 20 skills that you can select. You can always choose to change your skills anytime you want. Selecting your skills is very crucial and very important. Why? Because the job post on your feed will depend on the skills that you selected.
I suggest that you maximize your 20 skills so that you'll get more job post notifications. Once done with skill set, then you can click on next. Then you can register your full name, the languages that you know, and select if you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Just click on next once done. The next page will show you a payment method. If you're not yet ready, just click on skip for now. Then it will give you an option if you want to try their one month free trial plus membership. If you don't want yet, and then you can just go ahead and click on skip for now. And then a new page will show up but before anything else you should first edit your profile to make it presentable just click on view profile After you click View Profile, you would be able to see a notification that says Email Verification Required. At this time, you need to go to your inbox and verify your email address. After you click Verify, the link will send you to freelancer.com website again. You'll be able to see the free trial ad, but just click on Skip for now if you're not yet ready. And then go to view profile at this time you can click on edit your profile it should work because you already verified your email address now, you can upload your photo, add a description, 
and additional information on your account. In the summary, you can write down your skills or the services that you offer. Don't forget to put your RNA rate. If you are a beginner, I suggest you start with two to three dollars per hour. Don't forget to upload your own photo. Once done, you can go to Portfolio Items and then click Manage. Once you click Manage, add any portfolio photos of your previous work because this will definitely help you in getting clients because they would be able to see your previous work and this is how you can showcase your skills, your talents, and your experience. After you selected the photos, don't forget to select the proper tag for your portfolio. You can select up to five maximum of tags.
then click on save after you finish with all the tags. Click go back to edit your profile again and add additional information. Now that you have your photo, your summary, your hourly rate, and your portfolio, you can now add additional information. Remember, you can also edit your skills at any time that you want. It is important to add your work experience, the school where you graduated, your certificate or qualifications, and if there are any publications about you. Once everything is set up, we can start sending proposals. Now you can click on Browse and then click on Projects if you want to look for early rate work or project based. Now if you want to join a contest, you can just click on Contest. All the job posts that you will see will depend on the skills that you selected a while ago. That's why I told you that it is very important and crucial that you select the correct skills for you. There are a lot of job posts that you will see here, but remember only bid on the projects that you know that you can do or you can finish. Here you'll be able to see an hourly rate and if you see this kind of job post that means it is project based or they will pay you on or after you finish the project. You can also search for a specific keyword. This way, they will show you all the job posts that are related to the keyword that you selected. As for me, since I am a social media manager, I selected Instagram. As you can see, they have showed me all the posts or job posts that are related to Instagram. Remember guys to be patient and look for the job post that you know you can excel and you can finish. Guys, just to inform you, clients can leave a good or bad feedback regarding your work. So you have to make sure that you will be able to do the job efficiently. Now that I selected the project that I want to bid, then 
I can send my proposal. Here, you'll be able to see the project details. You have to read it thoroughly and understand the requirements of the client. You can also see the details about the employer. So for this project, the employer is from Iraq and he or she is email address verified. This means that the employer has already verified their email address. Now choose the hourly rate that you want and your weekly limit. After I set my hourly rate and my weekly limit, then I can put or write down my description for the proposal. But I already have a ready proposal, so I can just copy and paste it in the description area. I mostly add additional details depending on the requirements of the client. Once done with the description, just click on Place Bid. Here, guys, you can see how many available bids that you have. If you are a new user of Freelancer, you have eight free bids or eight free proposal that you can use. You can also edit your proposal if you think you want to add more information on your proposal or you want to change something in your proposal. As you can see, I have my proposal on top and you would be able to see other freelancers that submitted their proposals in this job post. You can also view their proposal. Just click on read more. Now that you know how to submit proposals, you can now use your seven free bids to look for the right job for you. Don't forget to click log out once you're done using the website for security reasons hey guys i hope this video is helpful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and watch out for my next video 
on advancedfreelancer.com tutorial. Guys, thank you for being with me today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. And please share this video to your friends who also want to start their freelancing career. And for my next video, I will be doing an advanced tutorial in about freelancer.com. So please watch out for that. Um, that's it for today, guys. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.